Hey guys, what's up? It is Grubby here, and I'm doing my first tutorial video today. So I'm on the super flat world, and someone asked me in my comments to give a tree tutorial on the trees that are in my world. If you haven't seen the trees in my world, just go check them out, or you're about to see it in a second, so it doesn't really matter anyways. So what I recommend to have on hand is I would have at least 32 oak wood, 32 oak logs, eight spruce vents, and 10 to 12 oak leaves. And depending on the size of your tree, it could be more oak leaves. And five glow berries. Now the reason why I use glow berries is because it prevents moths from spawning underneath there if they glow, you know, if you light them up so you don't have to worry about moths spawning underneath your trees. But without further ado, let's get into it because I don't want to waste any more of your time than what I've already had. All right, so starting off, I take the oak log and I pick the point of where I'm going to put it. So I go up one, two, three, four, five. That's the height of my base of my trunk. So after that, I like to put a spruce fence out to the side and add one more to it. So I go up six. So five up, and then put a spruce fence on whatever side you want to, and then put a log on top of it. From there, I jump down, and I typically build basically the base of this trunk now. So I like to go one, two, three. And I'll pick two sides to go up three, and I'll pick two sides to go up two. So I'm gonna pick, let's just say this side and go up three. And these sides, I'll go up two. Okay, so that's what you get right there. After that, I like to take and add in oak logs, kind of like roots, going around this way. And I'll occasionally come in here and we'll throw in a couple of those, and then we'll go like that. And so that's what you get. That's the base of your tree. Very simple, very easy, nothing really too complicated. Um, so yeah. So after that, I uh, get on the top and I choose with my oak wood where my limbs are going to run. Now building trees, guys, it's gonna be very random. Everything's gonna be very random. You're not gonna build it perfectly like I am right now, especially once you start putting the leaves on because everything's going to be random. Um, so I take the oak wood and I just build out like this right here. I go up a little level to add some level to it and then I go up like that. Okay, then I'll choose another side. So I say I'll just go out. Let's just go out this way right here. We'll go up go out this way and then go up like that. And then I choose one more side. So with this branch, I'm just gonna do it low. I'm gonna do it lower than all the other ones. So we'll go out like this right here. And it doesn't matter how much you go out. Now I definitely wouldn't extend it past like five blocks. So like the base of this, like one, two, three, four, five. That's about as far out as I would go. If you go any further, like this is one, two, three, four. Like if you go out any further than that, it starts looking a little weird because your branches will go so far out and your leaves are gonna go so far out that it's just gonna be a little weird. So next what I do is I get down and then these areas, I slap down any spot. Like I'll probably throw one in right there and I'll throw in one right there. So just to kind of add a little bit of detail to it. And if you want to, you can come in here and so I'm going to throw in one right there. And yeah, so you can do something like that. And shoot, you could throw one in right there if you wanted to, just, just to add in detail. After that, I get back on top. Sorry. I get back on top. And on the base of this one, so the one that we put up by five, I go up one, two, three, four, five, six. I go up six. So that's what you're going to look like right there. And then I take oak leaves and I build off the second to the top. So not the first one, but the second one. And I build back here at an angle. So what I'm trying to do is meet in the base of this one. I mean, you can honestly meet in the base of that one, but I like to try to meet in the base of this one. Once I reach here, I'm going to cover up these logs down here at the end with oak leaves. Then you got that. Then I'm gonna go to the other side and I'm going to do the same exact thing. We're trying to branch it out here. We're just gonna cover that. Once I get it here, I'm gonna cover it up. Cover it up. And there we go. Go to the other side and <clears throat> do the same thing. Up here. I 
so we can cover that one too like that. Okay, so once you get that, your tree should look a lot like this. This is what your tree should look like. So that's what we have right now. All right. Okay. So after that, I'm going to take these branches and I'm going to basically wrap it around with the uh, with the oak leaves. Excuse me. I'm going to wrap the oak leaves around. So I'm just going to get right here. Come up this way. And like add some like threes in it and some twos. Now, know with your threes, I'll explain this here in a minute. With your threes, it makes it a lot more difficult when you're trying to add like... Um, you don't like to have sharp corners, like a lot of sharp corners. So basically, you don't want to have a lot of this right here. If you get that right there, it looks off. It doesn't look right. Like if you have a bunch of these like this on your tree, it doesn't look right. So you're going to want to try to break these corners in here by throwing some stuff in there. Just to kind of break it up so that you don't deal with like straight corners like that. So then, like I said, move back this way, back towards this other one. And I'll probably hop over here. And then we'll probably build this one out some. It's right here. So I got, see, I got some twos and I know this corner right here is going to be very aggravating because it has that sharp corner, but we'll fix that when we come around to it. So then we're going to come back around this way. So here, oh. And ultimately, you're going to get sharp corners. It's real hard not to. It's very difficult not to get the sharp corners like this. I mean, you could ultimately try to work them out, but we'll work them out here in a minute. <clears throat> so then I'm going to go back around to this side, and I'm going to do the same thing. All right. After that, I take this open area in here, and I will fill all this in. Okay, once you get that built in, you need to know that this top up here is going to be your top of your tree. So what I typically do is I'll build a, <clears throat> it'll be a three by three at the top. And I know that I have to build up to this point. So from here, I'm just gonna build out this way you can do this right here if you want to that's one way that you can do it but i find the simplest way especially since you're going to be if you're in survival doing this is you can build from here off the edge and you can always leave you know it one off the edge sometimes i like go off like this and kind of leave like a, a bigger edge there <clears throat> and you're going to fill this in as well and you're going to keep coming up with it till you reach the top and I'll be honest, sometimes I make mistakes like that and I'll just leave it because, like I said, the leaves will be so random that, like, it's real hard to just be like, oh, this is the way I'm going to do it. And this is exactly how you need to do it. Because, like, honestly, this is, like, less of a tutorial and more of, like, a guide on how you can build the trees simple and quick. <clears throat> Once you get to the top, you can kind of expand this out a little bit what you got so once you get that finished this is what it should start looking like this is what you should have or what it should sort of look like okay so from here on the ground I come down on each one of these by two so one two one two one two one two And if I mess up and I come down by too much, uh, I don't worry about it. I just let it happen.
Like I said, leaves will be so random, but you basically want to have the same format. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it should start looking like. And you're starting to see the trees start forming. You're starting to see it form. This is what you're going to be working with. All right. So from here, this is where it gets a little crazy. And this is where it's hard to keep up. But have patience. Take your time. First time doing it. You know, I did this right off from scratch on survival. So, like, I'm sure you guys could do it as well. So, I just start going around the tree. And I'll start from either the second or the third. So, like, you see how that one's four high? I'll start from up here and come down and then bring that out. Okay? So, go down from here, bring it out. And then, every so often, I'll bring one down. So, with placing these leaves, see, I get, like right here you'll have an indention like that you can come in here come in behind it and just add a leaf or so and behind it like that and you'll fill that in so just keep doing that all the way around and i mean you can come out with it like that if you want to these trees aren't going to be perfect and like they're not going to be unison. Not everyone's going to be the same. Like, ultimately, like, you know, you got what you got with them. And then, like I said, so here's where... Uh, that's not too much of a sharp corner. That's not too bad, actually. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than what it was. I, I, maybe we'll run to a sharp corner here in a minute. And just start placing a random like this. Like, honestly, it... it really. Alright, so there we go. We got a sharp corner here. Alright, so what I'm going to do with this sharp corner is I don't, like I said, there's, you got this and I'm ultimately going to come down with this one as well and you're going to run into the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this. So what I'll do is I'll probably knock that out, leave that like that, probably come with that one, that one, um, not that one out. And that basically takes care of that sharp corner right there. And it's just a little bit. It doesn't take a lot. It doesn't take a lot to knock it out. So once you get that done, then you can start back up. Okay. So once I get done with that, once I have it, so this is what it's looking like. So this is what the trees look like. And like I said, it just depends on how tall you made the trunk. So if you made the trunk a little bit taller, you would be able to see more of the trunk. If you made it this short, then this is what it'll look like. So this, the, the higher you make this centerpiece go, or the higher you make, shoot, you could even make your the, that centerpiece with the bushes that I went up in the beginning. If you go up with that, as high as you want to go, allow. I obviously you have to be realistic. You probably don't want to go past like 10 because it might just start looking a little wonky. But the higher you go up with the tree stump, the bigger your tree is going to be. The higher you go up with your branches, the bigger the tree is going to be. I personally like them when they sit low, especially putting them next to water and kind of like set like a little bit of it over the water so that like fish can get underneath there so it's more realistic, you know. But it's personal preference. But, anyways, so doing the inside. This is the easiest part that you will do in this whole entire build. This is it. This is all you do. And of course, you want to leave some areas like this. So that you can have... Where is this? Uh, it's in here, so there it is. So you can have... Bone... Uh, Bone mill. So you have glow berries. Well, that's it. That's it right there basically all you do so that is the tree and I like these and farmlands once I come up with another design I'll obviously build another tree and maybe I'll come up the video with like five different types of tree styles that are easy to build because I, I consider this a pretty easy tree to build. And you walk underneath it. You got the cover and everything. It's just, I don't know. I just like this tree a lot. It reminds me of something that would be in like the swamp lands or something. So it's like a mix between a swamp tree and a, um, like an oak tree. So, but yep. Yeah, anyways, uh, 
if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe if you don't mind. And if you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. Tell me why you didn't like it. Tell me what I need to work on. You know, constructive criticism is always appreciative. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.